Hello everybody, my name is Barb of HowToGetCreative.com and welcome to my channel or welcome back. If this is your first time here, I invite you to click the subscribe button and you can click the bell so that you get notifications anytime I upload something new. This is a continuation from the previous video that I did, oh, I don't know, not too long ago called Funny Watercolor Faces, and that is th those are totally inspired from a class that I did with Carla Sondheim. And if you've not taken any of Carla's classes, I certainly encourage you to do that. She has such an interesting way of presenting information, and I really enjoy her classes. So anyway, these relatives, goofy relatives, watercolor faces, whatever you want to call them, they're just funny little people, is totally inspired from Carla. And I really appreciate that because it was such a fun and freeing class. And so many of you tuned in when I was doing this live. We were doing some testing and so this was my thing to do while we were testing equipment and cameras and all that kind of stuff that day. And I did all of these little people as we chatted and um, just, you know, answered questions and things like that. And then once they're dry, then you go back and do all the details. So I started doing that at the end of that stream, but I didn't finish it. So I thought maybe you'd like to just peek over my shoulder and see the personalities unfold with these silly little fun faces. Stop. I have not touched this since, and I thought um, we would just play around with this. So, all right, let's um, bring you in so you can see a little closer and then we'll just play around with them okay so when i have a profile face like this like this one it's easy to make the eyes closed but sometimes i like to make the eyes open so let's just see what we get okay And we'll just keep playing around and just see what... Sometimes I don't always know how they want to, how they want to be. So sometimes I just have to kind of look at them and just see. See how they want to be. Because, you know, they don't always tell me how they want to be. Don't always tell me. So it's a good it's a good exercise in um, in doing things like this. So she might need an ear here. So we'll give her an ear, and um, and then maybe she has a maybe she has an earring on. Kind of she needs some messy hairs back here. And these were all done with kids, very inexpensive watercolors to kind of get you out of your head, you know, just kind of get you out of your head. All right, so once I kind of, you know, figure out kind of what the hair is going to be, then I generally come down and outline. I, you know, I don't always do this, and I kind of like a scribbly outline. And of course, she needs um, an eyebrow, so we'll give her an eyebrow. Because they always look better if they have eyebrows. And then, let's see, she's got on a, a top here. We're going to give her a collar and maybe give her a... a shoulder here. And then um, this collar, hmm, maybe it's lacy. So I might just put in a suggestion of lace here of some kind. And um, maybe she's got, you know, kind of gathered sleeves. So we'll, so let's get maybe this one and give her some, uh, give her some lips lipstick so I'm just adding a little terracotta around her hairline a 
a little more of the peach. I'm just using very, very light, very light pressure from the pencils. Hardly any pressure. So she's still got the, the messiness here on her cheek, but you know, we're just gonna let it go. We're just gonna let it go. Mm -hmm. Just gonna let it go. And then I'm gonna use a gold Jelly Roll pen. So this is just a gold, gold metallic. Jelly roll pin and give her um, a gold earring. And then I'm feeling like she would also have on a necklace of some kind. So I think we need to put some gold beads. Oh, maybe a little white. Let's put a uh, sparkle dot in her eye. Okay, let's go on to this one. I think. She's going to have her eye closed with some kind of long eyelashes and eyebrow, maybe some long eyelashes over here sticking out from the other side. Make one up. And then her little nose is going to be up here. She's going to have a funny little nose. Okay, so we'll give her a little outline here. Maybe a little bit of a lower lip, maybe a little bit of a lower lip over here too, just because it's kind of fun to do that. Maybe on this one we'll even do that, just a little bit of a lower lip, just outline it a teeny bit. And um, she's looking quite proud of herself, don't you think? Yeah, she likes those fake eyelashes. When in doubt, give them a little more. They're just funny little faces. Okay. And so here is her neck comes around like that. And she has got hair that's going to come like from here. But can I just give her a... Fun little hairstyle of some kind. Let her kind of have a swoopy, swoopy curlish kind of thing going on. And let's see for her her outfit. Let's. Hmm, she looks like she's got a collar on too. And maybe her shoulder would be. You know, come would be up under that collar somehow. Again, she kind of looks like she might have on some uh, gathered, you know, gathers in the sleeve, and maybe she's got some gathers in this in her collar a little bit. So, would kind of give her a little suggestion of gathers there. She might have on some scarlet red lipstick she's maybe one of those she's maybe one of those whose stuff just kind of clashes you know doesn't go with her outfit oh well sometimes you need to stop yourself <laughs> this would be she just really put on a lot of lipstick that day i'm telling you she just put on a lot of lipstick now she looks like she might need to have a little eyeshadow since she doesn't really know how to put on lipstick maybe she doesn't know how to put on eyeshadow either so this is uh, permanent blue because that tends to be one of my favorite colors to use for their eyeshadow and maybe she needs some eyeliner too huh copenhagen blue how about some give her a little eyeliner she look, she's looking okay. She's all right. She's okay. She's fine. Um, and then if we want to give her a little bit of shading here and there, maybe a little a 
And then back to the peach color. We'll just hit the edges of that just to kind of blend that a little bit. Okay, so we're going to call her okay and then maybe put a little bit of shading under her collar. And I'm using very, very, very little pressure on her, uh, on the pencils. Okay, so that's good. Good enough for, for this gal. Good enough for this gal. Okay, let's go on to this one. Now, sometimes when I'm doing these, I just literally look at them and go, okay, who are you? And what is your story? Eyebrow. Some eye lines over here. A little suggestion of a nose. And we'll outline. And as you can tell, I don't even always go right up next to the, uh, to what the face is. You know, it's just a scribbly little outline, right? Just scribbly. Sometimes I don't even know if the characters are male or female. They're just sort of, they're just sort of their own. They're just sort of their own. I'm not going to put in too much lipstick. Just a little bit. A little hint of lipstick, huh? You can always add a little more into the hair, too, sometimes, you know, if it does. All right, let's do a little bit of um, shading around on this one. This is back to the terracotta pencil. Because it's our little pretend people. Can't we? Mm-hmm. And just because I can't resist, I think we've got to have a little eyeshadow up here. Mm hmm. And I think this one is going to have to have like um, purple, like a purple earring. So I'm going to use the glaze. I'm going to use one of the glaze pens. So these have a lot more. Uh, um, they they kind of stand up takes a little bit for them to dry so you got to leave them alone until they get dry that's always a challenge for me i gotta say all right let's go back over here to this one for a second and um, outline her beads okay so there she's she's uh she's done and whatever this character is i'm feeling like she needs I'm feeling like now we're just going to have to go crazy and put in some purple. So just a little bit, you know, because, yeah, just because. Uh, come on, because not much of anything tends to clog these up. Okay, so we're going to put in some eyebrows. Just a goofy nose. Just some kind of goofy nose, you know. He's a happy guy. Immediately he turns happy. We like that. Maybe he has a little straggler. Looks like he has on a bad uh, hairpiece, doesn't it? <laughs> So once it starts that, then just go with it, you know, just go with it. He's got on kind of a v-neck kind of thing. Let's give him some sparkle dots in his eyes. Let's see if I can get my pen working here. 
give him just a little bit of lip suggestion of lip color. While we've got the pencil here, I'm just going to come in and give him a little shading around under his chin and down the sides of his neck. These are just fun little pretend characters, so it doesn't matter. You just go for it. Just have fun. You just have fun. And then maybe he's having a, maybe he's got a mustache going on. So let's, I think so. I think he might be an artist or something. I'm not sure, but he might be an artist. Okay, so let's go on to um, this little girl. I think she's a girl because I'm thinking her hairstyle's making her kind of girl like. So um, <clears throat> let's put in her eyes first of all. And we'll give her some eyebrows. And um, we'll give her a, a little mouth here. And I'm thinking she might have on glasses, like um, this kind of glasses. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to go ahead and outline her face. I'm thinking that, uh, let's see, she might have, well, I think she's just got on a button down something or other. And um, let's see, her hair. Mm-hmm. I think her hair is curly. So let's see if we can find a pretty, pretty awesome red. This is crimson red. Yeah, I like crimson red. So we're going to put crimson red lips on her. She's looking like she's a little prim and proper. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? I'm going to try. We'll see if we can avoid getting into anything we don't want to get into. So we give her some purple purple eyeshadow okay so let's go back to the terracotta and let's give her a little shading here and there it's fun to give them funny jewelry too so you know sometimes I just go crazy with the jewelry because that's because it's just fun and just give it a few little streaks just to kind of make it look like it's actually glasses and um, I'm thinking, you know, she's kind of got this kind of weird vibe going on here a little bit like they like they all <laughs> they all do. Let's be honest. They all do. So um, let's give her some earrings. Even though we don't have ears, we're going to give her earrings. Got on. This choker looking since she has on purple eyeshadow. Let's give her some purple earrings. So I'm just going to fill these in. And then um, I'm going to make these necklace pieces have purple beads on them. It's like a choker. Maybe it's got some white lace on it. Because she's obviously kind of an eclectic sort of soul, don't you think? <laughs> If, you're, if you can't laugh at these people, if you can't laugh at them, there's there's something going on. You got to laugh at these silly little people. You just have to. So let's come over to this person. Mm -hmm. There's nothing realistic about that. There's nothing realistic about these faces. <laughs> let's face it. Let's do a little nose. A little mouth. Wild. This guy has wild hair. I live in a college town and uh, believe me, I see pretty 
pretty much everything you can see when it comes to hairstyles. You do want to let the hair kind of stick up, and, you know, be not too neat. You want it to kind of be kind of messy. And um, let's see, maybe yeah, we're just going to put a round neck, you know, maybe a rib neck. We'll give him an Adam's apple. And I guess I tend to put glasses on a lot of my figures because I wear glasses. But I like them both ways, with and without glasses. I like him kind of just like that. And um, then we need to do some, a little bit of suggestion of lip. I'm not going to do lipstick. We're just doing, you know, suggestion of lip. And then we'll put a little bit of color, a little shading and so forth. If I can figure out what I did with the pencil. Right in front of me, as usual. Mm -hmm. Just to add a little something to their character, you know. And I think we're just going to call him done. Yeah, I think we're going to call him done. So. And uh, there's a guy that we did the first day. He has a tattoo. He has tears tattooed on his cheek. Mm -hmm. It's also fun to take these characters and then add other things to them. You know, cut out hair bows. And um, like this guy right here would be a perfect place to put a bird up on his top of his head. I mean, you can just go crazy and do whatever you want. So there is our um our goofy little watercolor or funny faces all detailed so that you can see what they look like and then i'm going to take these and i'm probably going to cut them out and use them on an art journal page those little characters just have to make you smile don't they they as you see their personalities emerge from the paper it's just they are just funny and they are, that's all they're meant to be is funny and make you smile so thank you for watching, and I invite you to come over to howtogetcreative.com where we have all kinds of classes. We have a gift shop. In the gift shop, you're going to find things like ebooks and courses. We have our Mandela Madness course. We have our Mining Your Muse course, and we also have things like our Mandela Madness Inspiration Cards deck, which is, if you don't have it, you need one. You need two. You need one to keep and one to play with. So come on over and check us out. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to get creative today because you know it's easy. And I will see you again really soon. Bye for now.